Veronica, I need a favor. I'm looking for access to the professor's compiled research documents. Might be a big help to me. It's just not my work to share, Zachariah. If he came back, I don't think he'd be too pleased to find out I handed it away. You ever find out what happened to him? From what I could gather, he was arrested and thrown into the correctional camp. Apparently his criticism of the government was more important to them than his work. The times we live in, I guess. I don't even know what to... Such a loss. A waste. Maybe his work shouldn't be abandoned. If he's not coming back anytime soon, or at all, and you can do good with it. I know you don't mind helping out the police when you can, so I just want to know if you've seen anything lately. Groups gathering, people acting suspicious. We're in the slums, officer. This is Anton Rogue's world. More people than not around here are acting suspicious. Yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking more about anyone who may be looking to hurt abundance. Folks not fans of the regime. Rumors are going around some rebels are planning an attack. Fucking assholes. Hell, they can't just leave well enough alone? Nah, I mean, I heard something about fellows talking angry, talking about meeting up, but other than that, nothing specific. All right, thanks. Hi, Scott. Hello, my boy. How are you? Nothing broken, I hope. Unfortunately, I've received confirmation of what Veronica suspected. Charles was arrested and deported to a camp as a punishment for his comments. I'm sorry, Scott. I did bring back his research, though, since you wanted it. Thank you, Zachariah. A camp? How awful. But what is happening to our dear abundance? We won't beat Aurora if we get rid of our scientists. Anyway, I'll take a look at these documents. No doubt our dear Charles was worried. They're coded. It's funny, it reminds me of the code we used as students, so that the professors wouldn't know about our adventures. All this is a little far away. I'm gonna have to think about it. Thank you, Zach. Thanks again. You've been a soldier a long time. Tell me about the army. Best years of my life, stuck in the worst job on the planet. Sure, it's the best army on Mars. Best trained, best equipped, most disciplined. But with guys serving for over 10 years without a single fucking promotion? How's the point? Where's the enticement to be a hero? Well, thanks, another shiny fucking metal. It'll make my casket real pretty one day. No thanks. The officers are either legacies who went to the right schools or folks like you who actually went to good schools. Army doesn't care about valor in combat. They care about privilege. In my opinion. You've been a soldier along best health army.
good day. Care for some merchants? I need information. Don't we all? Have a good one. See you later. And you too. Hope to... Serum? Serum for the poor? I need some sensitive info about a certain group of citizens. I don't know what you're talking about. All I want is a little serum. Come on. I'm sure that you see everything that goes on here. I'm looking for people plotting an awful attack. You've heard people talking about sabotage from someone named Volgakov? No, not right off, but maybe, you know, a bit of serum might help jog the memory. Help me remember, you know. Here. Thank you, my lord. Yeah, yeah, those saboteurs, <clears throat> citizens that you're looking for, they often get together to talk, looking shadier than bulls at a china shop, and the name Bulgakov is always a hot topic. I don't know what they're plotting, but they talk and talk, and always more or less around the same spot. Not too smart, in my opinion. They're always hanging out in front of the curiosities. It's not very discreet to meet in front of a bar, huh? Uh, anyway, that's their problem. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get some food. Those terrorists aren't even hiding. Meeting up right in front of the curiosities? You really think we're morons? Or maybe they're the morons? Anyhow, we should keep an eye out. If those people are able to drop a bomb in a city like this one, it means they lack any human compassion. They're probably ready to do anything in the name of their ideas. It's possible. The best way to get what we want from them is to be discreet. Those fanatics don't talk easily when you interrogate them directly. Move out, quietly. Yes, Lieutenant. You're right, Lieutenant. Oh, sorry. I was supposed to keep quiet. Make the slightest move, you're a dead man. Hey there. Officer, hello. What can I do for the fine officer today? Check out my merchandise. I have everything you'd ever need for hunting. Rebels are close. I need to get closer to hear what they're saying. Just gotta keep this great and stay hidden. Where's the next action going back? You heard anything? Operation Cut's going off in a few hours. Volkakov's taking care of it. Taking a bomb down to the train station in one of those military bags. With all the troops moving around the area, nobody will even look twice. The fucking regime won't be able to ignore us after that. Freedom or death, right? Is this trying to hit the train station, Lieutenant? We gotta stop him. Do you know how many people they're gonna kill? And we'd be cut off from the other cities and Abundance's enclaves. Holy crap. Even the aqueducts would be shut down. Shadows. Can't that one shut up? Who gave us this newbie? Shut up! I wouldn't put it that way, but yes, David is right. It's better if people don't know what we're up to. Panic, oh, coupled with a bomb, like it could end badly for everyone The Curiosities all. Arena gets more violent by the day. It's because of all these weird things. What's wrong? My fiancé just disappeared. It's not like him. I know something's happened to him. Talk to me. Yeah, uh, his name's Derek Laver. Uh, he's a, he's just a worker like me, but, but he's also this amazing fighter. He was trying to get us out of this life by winning in the arena. And he was. But then, you know, these people, bad people, became really interested in him. And after his last fight, a lot of serum flies around in fights like this. And he usually wins, which makes people lose serum, and then... I don't know. Please find him. I'll see what I can do. Hey there. Hey there, back. What can I do you for?
What's the word on Bulgakov? Seen him before? Oh yeah, sure. We're good pals. Hang out all the- You fucking kidding me? Guy ain't exactly walking around with a name badge. Could be you for all I know. All I know is he's damn well respected by damn near everyone, even those who ain't rebels. Kind of leader of men type fella. Big ideas. They say them ideas ain't all his own, though. The guy got inspired by ideas from all around. Other corpse, other cities, even Earth. Who knows? But he's out to change the world. Bigger, better, brighter. Hey, I'm looking for a guy. Used to fight in the arena. Name's Derek Labor. Derek Labor? Yeah, I know who that is. Heard rumors going around about him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard Derek got himself into some shit with some Vori. He decided he didn't want to lose fights they were fixing or something. Uh, just what I heard, but if it's true, I doubt you're going to see him again. But, you know, if you want to ask around, if it's about betting, talk to the bookie. He may know more. No one knows more about the fighters than he does. Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, hey, hey! New blood to the neighborhood. Name Sam Rowe, bookmaker at the Curiosities. Which means I not only take bets on the fights, but I set them up too. So, whatever your flavor, I'm your man. You a betting man or a fighting man? Care to dance? More a fighter, I guess. Yeah, you seem the sort. We got two types of dance cards, see? On-demand fights for the beauty of the sport, and a tournament where the fighters instead gotta take on a number of challenges. You win them all, you take the title, and a reputation to not fuck with you. Sure, why the hell not? Could use a little exercise. That's what I'm talking about. Follow me to the arena, fresh meat. They're gonna love you. Hello there. Ready for a fight? A challenge? Good luck, son.
Atta boy! Damn, damn impressive! Your reward for victory! Good luck! Impressive. Your reward for victory. Good luck. And watch out. Weapons are bad. <laughs> Impressive. Your reward for victory. Hey there, new blood. What can I do you for? I'm looking for a man named Derek Labor. He fought here. Guess you've earned a bit of honesty from me. 
poor Derek. Poor, poor Derek. Hey, the snag. Snag so big it got him knocked out. If you catch my drift. There were two fellas after him. More likely that they did him in than the story going around that he simply choked drinking from a glass. Don't you think? Strong fellow like that. Where can I find the guys? They're Vori, Mancer. So I'm guessing you can find him hanging around Anton Rogue's warehouse. But I didn't tell you that. I'll keep you safe. Thanks for the help. A little bird told me the opposition was spreading. By opposition, you mean terrorists? This were where it is. You're the guy who paid to kill Derek Labor, the guy who won his last fight in the arena a few days ago. Fuck you! Who the hell you think you are coming in here like this, prick? How about we teach you a lesson in manners? How about that, boys? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, stop! We're the ones who shot Derek. And who sent you to do it? I... Shit, it was that fucking guard who watches over the fights. He wanted Derek gone. I, I don't know why, so don't ask. I just took what he paid, and I did what he asked, all right? Yeah, all right. An honest killer. What do they think of next? Later. Sorry, pal. Nobody enters this office if they got no pass. That right, pal? I'm an officer, and a technomancer, and I'm here to see Anton Rogue. Think you should let me in. You even know who Anton Rogue is? He's the big fucking balls here. The boss. I don't care if you're a damn general. Get the hell out of here. What else? Show it to me. All right, fine. You can come in even though you're dressed like... He stole it from one of our guys. Door's locked from the other side. Guess we're going around. Look what the cat dragged in. The prodigal son. A diamond in the rough risen from poor street trash to the godlike ranks of Technomancer. Now tell me, why am I so lucky to be in your presence? I'm looking for a caravan of merchants. They were supposed to be in the exchange. Word is they were escorted to the slums, and you may know something about it. Hmm, yeah, rude little men. My town, my streets. Uninvited competition who lack even the common decency to offer a little token of grace in exchange for their presence. If you're ready to settle their debts, I'd be happy to usher them back home. These merchants were involved in some outside business that requires interrogation as soon as possible. You can either help me find them, or we can always turn our attention towards your business affairs. Your call, Anton. I hear your threat, Mancer, but, well, serum is serum. And I'd rather deal with you than swallow the debt those outcasts owe me. It's just business. Pay their debt, and I'll help. 
don't, and I'm happy to just show you the door. Very well. If that's the price of their freedom, here it is. I love it when a deal comes together. How about you free them yourself? Sure, they'd love to meet and thank their most generous benefactor in person. You just have to go to my warehouse. Say, he who profits deserves honor to the guards at the entrance, and they will give you the keys. I wish you a good reunion with your friend, Mr. Rogue Mancer. Goodbye. What do you know about the Resistance? <laughs> Enough to handle my own business unimpeded. We don't think that they are in any danger. They're an occasional client when they're in need of weapons or explosives. Their biggest strength comes from how deeply underestimated they are. Ever stepped in a puddle that turned out to be a ditch? <laughs> Not pleasant. I gotta go. Then go. I have two witnesses telling me you're behind Derek Labor's death. Why'd you do it? Shit. Why did I do it? You know how much that little bitch cost me in serum? Thomas little ass was supposed to go down in the last fight. But no. He decided he needed to follow the rules. Being a pathetic Labor who started winning fights swelled his head. A little arrogance goes a long way in the arena. <laughs> you get hurt outside of it, though. He was supposed to lose. He did it. That hurt me. So, I made an example of him to other fighters who think they can think for themselves, too. You're under arrest for the murder of Derek Labor. Yes, yeah, sure. You and what army officer? Get out of here. I don't... There's no easy way to say this, but... I found your fiancé's body. The Vori killed him over some rigged bets. No... 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 Derek! I arrested the man responsible. He's in jail now. And that doesn't bring Derek back, but... At least the guy who did it will pay. Thank you, officer. I... Thank you.
Make the slightest move, you're a dead man. Anton Rogue sent me. I need the keys to the building. Oh yeah? Then I'm the Towser. What, I'm just supposed to believe you? Well, you got the password, so here's the key. Thanks. Look like a guard to me. Cause I'm not. Named Zachariah Manser, Lieutenant in Ophir. If you're the merchant who got himself kidnapped from the exchange, I'm here to get you out. I am. I am indeed. Fiorello, master of the caravan. The shadow still protects me. But I doubt you came to help us out of the generosity of spirit. Am I correct in that presumption? Ian Manser, great master of the Technomancers, sent me to talk to you. Ah, I see, yes. One of my favorite clients. And a man with whom I, indeed, have some information to share. Aurora has discovered a new site. Not far from the Shadow Path. A site filled with objects of incredible condition. And even a relic, as rumor has it. News I'm sure the Great Master will be glad to hear. You should go now. Get back on the exchange as quick as you can. I'm not one to dally, Mansur. I'll see you around, I'm sure. Door's locked from the other side. Guess we're going around. Make the slightest move, you're a dead man.
Leave this bag. Please. It belongs to you? Yeah, I figured. But I was expecting... A man? Sorry to disappoint. But since you're here, minding my business, maybe I should introduce myself. I'm Bulgakov, one of the leaders of the opposition army. You gonna arrest me now? Arrest you and take that bomb before it does any harm to the city. <laughs> you don't have a damn clue, do you, officer? That bomb was never meant for the city. This is our city, too. It was meant to take out the access roads to the city, to block the army convoys. It's time this fratricidal war finally came to an end. You think we're fighting for Aurora? You're wrong, officer. The opposition is made of patriots, and the war we're losing is making the true patriots weaker, while the politicians and their secret police grow stronger. You're no patriot. A patriot would let her voice be heard at the assembly of the people, not set off bombs in the city she claims to love. You couldn't possibly be that naive, could you, officer? Ask around. See if you can find just one person who dared to speak up at your precious assembly and is still around to talk. The only voice ever heard from is the Watchers. The rest are silenced, and will continue to be until only the ASC agents remain. Stay suspicious of me. It's your right. But I don't lie, officer. I'd never hurt the people on purpose. I only ever wanted to free them. Let me. Don't stand in my way, because it's the only road to a better abundance. I hope I'm doing the right thing. Go on. Go! But leave the bomb. I trust you enough, but not that much. I hear you. Thanks. And goodbye, officer. Beware the watchers. <laughs> 